When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Welcome back to another Three Bourboniers. This is the first annual DeLorean whiskey episode. And we are highlighting bottles that, you know, we wish we could have gone back in time and not purchased. Or it's the DeLorean. It's didn't our buy. Yeah. You first wish. up, what do we got, Taylor? You wish you had Doc Brown come up in that DeLorean and go. Great Scott! Great Scott! This bottle sucks! Let's Baker me. 7! We got Baker yeah. 7 as the first one up. Um, we haven't uh, reviewed this yet in a singular video. No. But and there's, there's a reason. There's a reason. Right. Exactly. This particular uh, single barrel bottle is aged seven years and two months. Yeah. Um, a Jim Beam product. Yes. That we know. Um, fancy looking bottle. Nutty again. Right? The top. The top. Although stubby. Although stubby is hard, hardy, and pretty cool. It's thick. It's a thick top. A nice metal top. But in this one, in this case, you might be paying more for the bottle and the metal top than you yeah. are for the actual juice inside. For the liquid, yeah. Um, this one is nutty and uh, very alcohol forward, in our opinion. Yeah, ethanol it's very, very yeah. ethanol. It's got too much burn for what it should be, it should drinks, be drinking at. It drinks like a 140 at a 107. Yes. So, at yeah. least this this is a single barrel, so yeah. we can not keep that, you know. It's not, it's ours not is particularly not very it's, you know. it's a painful 140. We've really never liked this, and in fact, we really don't like many Jim Beam products. Um, Nutty. We don't. We don't like Basil Hayden's at all. I left this at his house. We tried he it. Accidentally left this at his house. Accidentally. Well, purposely, <laughs> yeah, accidentally. Um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's just not an enjoyable bottle. There's not a lot of depth. There's not a lot of finish. There's really nothing going there's on. No finish. And some places around here consider this a rare bottle, yeah. and they'll yeah. throw an eighty dollar, ninety dollar price worth tag it. on it. It's not worth a fifty dollar price tag. Um, there is much better hitters. At this $50 one was purchased so. around fifty six, I believe. Yeah. So we got a good deal on it. Uh, I think that you just recently saw one for seventy three. No, I wouldn't pay forty dollars for this. One. <laughs> so I would pay just, $40 for it's a, it's a regrettable purchase. Uh, I am glad we tried it because now we know. You know, it's just one of those things you learn from. But we're trying to help you guys to not make the same mistakes we made. Thus, the whole video. Yeah. yeah. So if you see this, uh, pass on it. Buy yourself a uh, old Forester 1920 or 1910. <laughs> 1910. 100 percent you'll like it way more. Alright, what's next? Next. There's so many choices. Oh you're gonna know what you're gonna pick. Oh, this one's gonna probably piss some people this off. This will upset some people. The old Henry McKenna. Old Henry McKenna. This um, is the 10 year bottle and bond that everyone was uh Freaking out about losing their mind over because it won Whiskey of the Year at like the, the San Francisco uh, uh, yeah. Spear competition. So don't as soon know as, how that happened. As soon as that happens, everyone's like, I need to get my hands on this because yeah. it's the yeah. best bottle in the world. And it's I just mean, underwhelming, so, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Very nutty. And don't get me wrong. Okay, so you're paying at retail $40, $45 for a bottled and bond 10-year single barrel, right? Yeah. And it seems like a great deal. Um, but in our experience, and I think I speak for us all when I say this, we've never really tasted one that has really done anything for us. No. We've always tasted it and said, there's just really nothing going on here. Right. It's it's just typical bourbon with a short finish. Very not stringent. Not really flavorful, very stringent. It's, it's, got, nutty, it's got the nuttiness to it. Blue. Yeah, it's got some Heaven Hill nuttiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind yeah, of a yeah. problem for us. We're not really big uh, nuts in the mouth fans. <laughs> So <laughs> we might be a little biased on it because some people really do like the peanut buttery, you know, and that's forward okay. whiskeys. But we, we did this in our blind, blind, and it was third or fourth. No, for yeah, all I, of us, compared right? to what we did. I mean, uh, I think for you, well. that 101 Wild Turkey beat. Out it did. This. It and did. This is hard to find around here, and online it's even more expensive than it is like at retail. And it's weird because I feel like we're like rooting for it to be good. We, we do root for it. I mean, we have multiple bottles. Yeah. We, bought, we each have a couple. We, we bought I, it. I, I bought one, but... I mean, I've bought it twice or three times at this yeah. point, just yeah. hoping that because it's a single barrel, maybe the one that I've tried is not good, but I've opened up the second one and then we tried to live up in yours, and, mine. and it's never really been good. So, so that's where we are. Number two, just a, just a three bourbon ears, not very well liked. You find Eagle Rare? That's a ten year at ninety proof. Yeah, buy that all day. A thousand times better than this. Way, so, way more. Buy that. All right, what's number three? Today? Way more better, because that makes sense. Number three. Way more better. Way more better. 
Oh my gosh, do not even get me started on this piece the, uh, of garbage. The tramp stamp bottle. <laughs> it's an ugly bottle. You I know, just, I can't. I, you I, see this on a girl's back at a bar, do not go home with her. Or go home with her. <laughs> Depending on how many what do you mean? That's all I go for. Or moment. if you're looking it's, for, you know. You're, you're looking for a really sweet time <laughs> at the time. I'm looking for a but girl. But a really bird. bad time in the morning. <laughs> I'm looking for a girl to whip me while I'm uh, laying in bed tied down. Yep. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so my my first uh, initial experience with this was saw Angels Envy finished rye everywhere. Yes. Costco. Yes. Sam's Club. They are everywhere. All the liquor stores. We went through Minnesota and found four oh, bottles on every town. tens of thousands. And you ask yeah. how many did they produce? Wasn't it like a hundred thousand? I don't. It wasn't. It was a lot, but not no you know insane. And yeah. saw this everywhere, and that's always a red flag, right? Yeah. For why? That is. That is. Uh, so especially at the price point, what did you pay for this? Eighty dollars. <laughs> Tell me, I, I could. I know of twenty dollar bottles that blow this bottle out of the water. Now, granted, this maybe just isn't for me. Um, I do like rice, and this is just so sweet. It is just it's over the top. Full blown. There's no rice. The in sweetest it. ice cream you could ever have. And while that may sound good, it just it's not. It's just totally sweet. No rye spice, no rye influence whatsoever. Just complete. It's, it's definitely over the top. Grossly sweet. Too. Well, there's a reason that this much has been drank and you've had it for how many months? I've had it for like four or five months. I think yeah. I dislike it less than both of you, but I can get along with the fact that it's just, it's over the top sweet. It's so maple so syrupy. Yes, like You just feel yes. like, damn, I'm just drinking sugar. This is a heaven hell again. See, it is. So is it, I, yeah, I think so. I so. feel like this bottle would be a better experience at forty dollars. Even that's pushing it. So half the price. Eighty dollars <laughs> for this? Not very. I mean, Angel's Envy alone, like the regular, is very mild. Yeah. It's just a nice like mixing whiskey, and even that's sixty bucks. Yeah, right. So it's a little overpriced. We're, we're approaching like dangerous territory. So what do you got for number four? This one, avoid. Don't try. It. Don't waste your money. <laughs> do not pull it up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not I'm yet. saving a good one. For oh, okay. Guys. All right. This one is gonna upset a lot of people. Yeah, I've seen. And so, we're ready for it. I've seen so Let's many go. reviews comments, comments. online Let me know. of people talking about this bottle Dude, and I saying, "I cannot stand it. Can't, can't wait to try it. a Friday night sipper. It's amazing." And I'm sitting here thinking, like, man, have you ever even had any good whiskey in your life? My okay. God, these are the, saw, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say these are the people that. How much was this? 130. It's like 125, See, 130. Bucks. When you spend that much money on a whiskey, you're talking. You're going through shit in your head where you're like, I spent 130 dollars. This is the best whiskey I've ever had. But until you take 30 effing dollars, until you take a step back and realize how much money you spent and how much better whiskey there is for half the damn price. You need to really think about it because this is just mouth burn. Okay. Nothing else. By the way, we have given this a fair shot. We have. Literally every time we film videos, we, we try have this a sip of it, it and you're always like, dude, I'm gonna try it. Like I maybe we're giving it, you know, the wrong kind of thing, whatever. It's half gone. And this isn't because we're sitting there like, oh I love this, this is great stuff. This is because every time we film, we're trying to understand yes. that this is as good as people say it is. I saw an Instagram post the other night, the guy had a photo like this holding it. 1,200 comments of like, the best bourbon ever, so great, uh, love it. I wish I could find no it. Sense. I just don't, I don't understand. This is, this it, is not good. We've, and we've given it time and time again a chance, and it's not good. Stellum bourbons, baseline bourbon blows this shit out the You, you tried, tried Wild, Wild Turkey 101 yeah. against this thing. Wild it, Turkey 101 was Way more flavorful, way better, less astringent. It's it's the I list goes on. The biggest hater of this, I think this is so asinine and insulting that they would put a hundred and thirty dollar price tag on this. Yeah. Bardstown to me, although I haven't tried the Discovery series and a few other things, I they are literally at the bottom of the have to, They have enough. to make it. Yes. They so they that's, it and that's one of the big issues that we haven't tried one of the Discovery series. Yeah, which is that's the true. Main, that's like their, prisoner, that's their uh, premium line is the Discovery series and we haven't gotten there yet. I mean, we keep seeing it, but 
honestly, this bottle has deterred us from yeah, even it has. trying those other ones because this is not. It's insulting. Like it's it not literally good. is insulting. For it's just, it's too, a lot of their bottles are really expensive too, and it just makes me I don't really like, weary of. I get insulted by the price gouge when there's things that blow you out of the water that aren't even close to your price range. Like a uh, fifth of your price range and they're better than you. That's not a good sign. So no. it's like a uh, bitch's dad would say it's yeah. a real broomstick to the asshole. Yes. <laughs> exactly how I would put it. All right, number five. Bottle. And I can't wait to give you guys shit on this bottle. Oh, I've been this all yeah. night. It's a bong. I mean, I'm sorry, the will it pot spill. All right, well, uh, <laughs> me, I, I will start on this bottle. <laughs> I was kind of a fanboy of this one from the start, and big time fanboy. The reason, the reason why I really like this whiskey, obviously the bottle's crazy looking, but it's one of the like longest finished, like textured whiskeys I've had. Now, granted, now saying that, I can't, I can almost not even say it because I've had longer finishing whiskeys than this. But when I first started, this was like one of the craziest textured whiskeys I had. Very oily, very viscous. Um, however, when I go back to it now, having tried what I did, it's very funky. It's got like this earthy, oh. like mushroomy kind of taste to it. And it's almost gross. <laughs> and it's you a know, funky whiskey. You start start with it so you can experience some viscous whiskey if you want. It's like a $40 bottle. Do not buy it again. Buy it, put it on your shelf so you can go, look at me, I got some fancy whiskey. This is the one bottle that Taylor gives me shit on every time I talk to him. So every time. We, in our previous review, talked about how we would buy this solely for the shelf appearance. Yes, for the bottle. Which, mm -hmm. like, you know, 10% mm -hmm. of me is still like, yeah, I would still do that. But at the same time, like, I think about Taylor chirping me every time I look at this thing or talk you about it. Buy a, you can't buy a whiskey do based not, on shelf appearance. Do not let the bottle fool you. Although it is very cool. It just, the juice doesn't fit. Hey, if you guys regret what you said in the video review of this, I won't say shit. I you regret guys it. regret what you I, said. I, I absolutely... Do you think that you would buy this still just as some snickle fritz to give to your buddies who don't know shit about whiskey? Possibly. I'm See, on the fence with it. This is only $42. This is my bottle. Here's the thing. Here's you the know thing. What else is $42? Stella Mariah. I could, I could, <laughs> I right. could probably give them like Woodford. I'd rather give them like Woodford Double Oak. Almost convert them to be like a whiskey drinker by giving them a smoother, sweeter, like well-rounded. Then impressing them with this and giving right. them dog ear and, and poo. Here's and, the thing. It's okay. Nutty too. This bottle is impressive. Yes. Looks like a bomb. <laughs> you can press your 420 friends. Great. Hey, but 420. Yeah. What I'm saying is, why not? Why not just buy a decanter right. and throw some Wild Turkey 101 That's a good point. into the decanter, a good point. and they'll think it's the fanciest thing they've ever drank in their life. There you go. All right, you squashed it. So All $23. Right. What, do it? what do you think about it? Yeah, what? It's dog food. <laughs> <laughs> this dog food whiskey. I bought two bottles of it for some. Ridiculous it, it, it's like I don't know if it's marketing or what the hell it is, but they just they did it right. They they got us. I might still buy another one. <laughs> oh my god! If you god. buy another one of these, we're gonna have some problems. Just keep on the shelf, you know. No, I'm just kidding. I will admit that the first batch I had of this, I, is it a small batch? Is it single barrel? I don't even know what it is. They don't disclose anything. But I really feel like the it's first like bottle product. I had of this was was more bourbon esque. Like it had more sweeter notes. Now the second one I open is very funky, and I do not like it. In a bottle that can be very good or very crappy to me is a bottle worth avoiding because I can Based have so it. many more that are more well reliable. So find something consistent. Yes. Don't uh, don't deal with this That's nonsense. But uh, is that it for the Florian bottles? That's all we got. That's all. all that's all we're gonna do. For so those video. are uh, what one, two, three, four, five whiskeys that we regret buying. And so that, if you can take any lesson from this, it's don't buy any of the bottles that you just saw today on here. Even if the bottle looks fancy as hell, yes, uh, don't yeah. buy it. Don't fall. It's not worth your money. There's victim. so many other options out there at cheaper prices yep. that you can buy more value for your dollar. Like, you know, Experiment at that. 30 to 50 dollar range and you will be pleasantly surprised but again like these are things that we go through so you don't have to right yeah we're you know, trying to save you guys some money 
save you some time. Yeah. If you're new into bourbon, check this video out. You can figure out what you should buy real quick. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you uh, learned a lesson or two from the Bourbon Ears' uh, amazing palettes. But uh, check us out on uh, Instagram. Like us, uh, comment, subscribe. Um, we're going to be doing some new videos here in the future. We got some hitters coming up, so stay tuned. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys. Cheers.